flush my wave runners so after a heavy day of riding I, and I normally ride in salt water so I'm gonna want to use some salt away there's some other brands similar but salt away is the one that I recommend I've been using it it works great so I'll just fill about a quarter of the way up in the dispenser here that comes with the salt away kit and then I'll hook that up to my garden hose and then start the flush process on the ski and I'll link where you can get salt away. It's not expensive, but it's a must if you ride in salt water. So here I'm gonna have the engine off. I'm gonna hook up my salt away kit here, and I'll go later in the video, I'll explain why it's important to keep the engine off, and I've seen people destroy their engines by not doing that. So I'm gonna get my lanyard out here and go ahead and get ready to start the ski. Again, the water's off. So you get a start here, and just running. I'm gonna turn the water on now, and this is just water. There's no salt away running in it right now. I have the mixture dialed to off, and that's just to get the what salt water is left in the engine. Just get that out into where I'm working with just fresh water. I'll switch that over to the salt away mix there. And then to start foaming out, you'll see it's, it's like a soap, it's a detergent. So you can see it's starting to bubble out there. You can see all that soap coming out. And that's just gonna clean any kind of salt deposits that's in the engine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that water off and then unhook my flush port here. Lay that to the side. Now I'll give the engine a few blips of throttle just to force out any water that's left in the water box. And then I will kill the engine. So I have a little bit of salt away left in the dispenser. So I'm gonna just spray the rest of that salt away all over the exterior of the ski to get ready to clean it here in just a minute. So why you wanna have the engine running when you're flushing the ski, if you have the water turned on before the engine's on, that water pressure will force water back into the engine and into the pistons. And then once you go to start that engine, you'll have all kind of damage. So especially first time owners, please pay attention. Start the engine first turn the water on, then turn the water off, then turn the engine off. So you never wanna have water running while the engine's not running. So here's just a short clip of us riding in the Gulf today outside of Pensacola, Florida. If you have any questions, just post them up in the comments and I'll try to answer those as quick as I can.